Hello everyone, Chimantin here. Today I'm showing you how to integrate Active Directory with the Sophos UTM9. Um, so to do this, um, you log into your UTM. Okay. Then go over to Definitions and Users, Authentication Services, Servers. I already have mine set up, but I'm going to start from scratch for you. Okay. What we'll do is click New Authentication Server. For the back end, select Active Directory. And for the server, now I already have mine set up, but for you, you'll just hit the plus and you type in a name for your Active Directory uh, server, whatever you want to name it. And you have two options, either host or DNS host. So one's by IP, one is by host name. Okay. And then hit save. So mine is already, like I said, done. So I will just move mine over. And if you use SSL, make sure to hit the SSL box. Now you have to submit the bind DN. Okay, so in order to do that, go over to your server. And what I do normally is just take the administrator account or a administrator account. So if you have another account that is in the administrative group, you, this will work. So in order to do that, you'll just hit DS query space user, and that will bring up all the users and the associated um, settings for them. Type in the administrative password and hit test. Okay, and then it'll say server test passed. And now for the base DN, it is the rest of it except the CN and uh, the the account that you choose so if it's like Bob Alice Sam or whatever it is um, that just ignore that and then just place that in there now um, for testing I'll create a I'll create an account in our um, active directory so we'll just do Alice Now, once I've created Alice, I can come here and test Alice's authentication. Hit test, and we are able to see Alice has, uh, we're able to authenticate against the Active Directory. Now, um, to illustrate this, if I go over to users and groups, you see that there's no Alice. Okay. If I log off, I'm now able to log into the UTM with Alice. Okay. So now Alice is able to um, also administrate this account without having a local account. Now if I log off and I go back to my server, let's create another user and call this user Bob. We'll create a, a password for Bob. And now if we log in to the UTM with Bob, we now have another username that's created remotely and centralized managed that uh, can now administrate the account. Uh, sorry the UTM there are other extensions to this for instance uh, when we get into wireless protection and you have uh, something like a captive portal you can log in using active directory um, there's other there's other things that um, uh, active directory provides an extension now for remote access and VPNs and stuff like that uh, you need radius they don't have uh, active directory authentication at least for the UTM uh, Sophos uh, UTM sorry um, and now what we'll do is um, uh, in another video I'll show you how to set up radius authentication for uh, for the use of VPNs 
Okay, so one thing to highlight here is that if I did, if I were to dis disable or delete the Bob username, um, it takes up to 15 minutes for the uh, sync to happen. So uh, the one thing I noticed that um, in the documentation of Sophos, it also supports this. It takes around 10 to 15 minutes for um, the account to not work. Uh, or or to for the UTM to deny login for a disabled account there is a workaround um, if you want it flushed right away so if you go over to uh, definitions and users authentication services you'll be able to flush authentic authentication cache you click flush authentication cache and right away it will stop um, and uh, that's it if you have any questions or comments about this video or any one of my other videos, please leave them in the comment section below. You can also you can always email me, shawmancini2010 at gmail.com and visit my website, shawmancini.com. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a good day.